trying to slip. <laughs> go, 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 go. Really? <laughs> See what the uh, what the spec on the Lotus is. Yeah. So when's that? So when's the? Uh, do you know the reveal date? Of the Lotus. Yeah. Where, where <laughs> this is the continuation of yesterday's video. Yeah, we just pulled over. I don't know where we are. I just we're at some petrol station. Where, where are we? We're about three hours away from Paris now, and we thought we'd do a video. This video is going to be, we're both quite tired, but it's going to be why this car is going away and what our thoughts are on updating this car, maybe potentially having a daily driver, not having a daily driver, and all that stuff. So, you're just eating a sandwich. Ah. Uh. How's your sandwich? Oh, good. Let's hop back in the car. You're going to take the wheel now. You've just slept for about two hours. Let's get going. So essentially, I can't be bothered to drive anymore. Yeah, and we can't be bothered to stop. We're 40 minutes outside of Paris, and we're going to do a Chinese flip. <laughs> Chinese flip! <laughs> go, 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 go! Really? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Talking about Chinese flipping, Has getting in uh, Parisian driving, Parisian driving mode. Race it hasn't mode, gone brilliantly, though. manual, yeah, flappy paddles, race mode. So, no traction because <laughs> we always switch traction off when we get in the cities <laughs> because that makes loads of sense. The second video of talking about everything hasn't gone particularly well, so we might continue it tomorrow in the car, which should make more sense because I fell asleep and then it was dark. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm now in the middle of a junction. I despise driving in Paris. Oi, oh, ho, ho, what's he doing? Jesus. Oh. Jesus. Well, this is stressful. <laughs> Morning. Morning. How well, we continuation of the same video. Yep. Let's hop in the car. Let's do it. Doing well. Let's continue on the GoPro. GoPro. Yo! That was quick. Straight into race mode. Yes. So, let me also understand one thing. You spent an absolute fortune of money buying a Lotus 680. <laughs> reason I can afford a load this is because I'm, I don't spend anywhere else ever we're giving this back this car back so today's video as we mentioned in the last video is going to be about what could potentially replace this and what the perfect daily would be I mean this was a brilliant daily and it made me realize that what I look for in a daily is something sporty that still excites me yes it's not too expensive to run but that's but yeah, very comfortable. I think that's the main thing is it can't, it shouldn't be expensive to run if it's your daily. Yes, because... And it needs to be nippy. It needs to be nippy. Now then, so obviously hot hatches are the popular choice. Yeah. Yeah, Phantom, not so much. Phantom, not so that's the dream. <laughs> right now, my situation is, the XZ380 is going to be coming in at some point whenever the Swiss government lets me register it. And then we'll have the XZ380 now for a while, because that car's a lot of money. I don't think it would make sense for me to run two cars specifically because we're not home that much and driving the two cars that much. Yeah. Which is why this is going. Financially, for a while, I'll be running the 380 as the daily. We got the Twizy as well. Yeah, you got the Twizy. So, I think the Twizy, and I don't know what you guys think, I think the Twizy should be wrapped the same as the Lotus. As the Lotus. Yeah, the Twizy being wrapped the same as the Lotus would be pretty gangster, especially when you guys what the uh, what the spec on the Lotus is. Yeah. So when's that? So when's the? Uh, do you know the reveal date? Of the Lotus? Yeah. When, when no. are these guys going to see it? No, not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Hopefully soon. Like as soon as I can, basically. Uh, I'll show them. That Lotus will become a daily, and by no means this video being is what's the perfect daily. The Lotus is not the perfect <laughs> daily. It's much better than the Elise was. <laughs> it's much better than the Elise was, but by no means the perfect daily. So that's not going to last too, too long, having that as the daily. But then, I've been considering a few different cars. 
Um, so one car I think would be yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we've built a relationship with Renault, would potentially be a Megane RS whenever that comes out. Yeah. Another car that I love that we've featured a lot on the channel is the A45 AMG. Yeah. Um, but one car that's coming out, which I'm going to ask the guys at Renault now about, is this new Alpine, because I think that is so gangster. The interior on that is mad. The interior looks crazy. I'm gonna overlay some photos. Um, from what we've seen from renders from the uh, prototype and stuff like that, so who knows what it'll be like on the actual car, but the interior looks like it's going to be absolutely crazy. So that, I think, because it's only going to, it won't be a big engine, won't be too expensive to run, not too much horsepower, so insurance will be reasonable. What is the engine, do you know? Uh, I don't know what it is, but they're saying about 250 horsepower, which is not mad, um, but it'll only weigh just over a ton, so it'll have really high performance stats, but it won't be crazy to run, right, which is why it's it appealing. Uh, no, 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 but not big, it'll be in the typical Renault fashion, small engine, high output. That, I think, would be a very exciting car. Obviously, that would be more expensive than any of the other options, but and less yeah. practical because you wouldn't have uh, four seats, five seats. Um, is it a two seater? Yeah, it's a two seater. Because all I've seen is the renders you've shown me. Yeah, it's a two seater. It's, a, it's like a, imagine it being a Porsche Cayman. It's very right. similar to the Porsche Cayman, and that's its um, right. rival, biggest right. rival. It's the right. Yeah. So, but, but do you I mean, think it would do you think it'll go up? Well, that's the thing. I'm hoping because it's based on the A110, which is the original sort of very successful Alpine. Right. I'm hoping that because it's the first time they've sort of made an official successor to that, that it would hold its value quite well as well, and which is worth it. Um, do, you know, do you know the, how many they made? So they're going to make 1,995, I believe it is, uh, of these sort of launch edition cars. Right. And those might hold well because they'll be launch edition and they'll be limited. So imagine if we could get our hands on one of those, that would be awesome. Yeah, it would be really good. But I mean, this car's taught me, I always, when I can, drive this car race mode with the paddles on. So it's taught me a lot that even in my daily, uh, something slightly sporty would be where it's at. So yeah, that's my thoughts on daily drivers right Sick. now. What we should do is probably clean this car and then go give it to the people who are taking care of it now. Yep. Yeah, so cool. let's go clean it. <laughs> what? what happened there? <laughs> <laughs> what is this song? I don't know, I don't know, man. So, Parisian driving again. I am taking up about three lanes. Good. I'm good. in the zone. Yep. I'm fitting in in Paris. Because people will look at me now and be like, he's clearly local. Yeah. He's taking up three lanes, exactly. driving like a dickhead, yeah. clearly local. That's perfect, that's what we look for. Mm -hmm. We just appreciate some Parisian parking. There we go. There we go. In a reserved, over two space. Good on ya. We're here. We're here, we're here, we're here. <laughs> we're here, we're here, we're here. The car is here and the car is going, I'm so sad. We have a problem now. What? Well, we don't know where the airport is, which is where we're going. Yeah. And also we've got all of that and that suitcase and more to somehow manage to convince them we can take as hand luggage. Yeah. So that's oh, cool, yeah. yeah. Like literally two people with four bags. We'll figure that one out. It's all right. Sad times. The car is going. Going. Which is not ideal, but it's probably a good time to end the video as well. Also, before we do, go. What on earth is going there? Yeah, what is that? I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. On that jolly note, Cleo's gone. We're considering replacements. Comment down below what you think we should replace it with. What was that shout out you wanted to do? The rat. Ah, oh, the rat. The rat. You are getting a shout out. You've been commenting a lot down below and watching a bunch of the videos. So the shout out today goes to the rat. We're also gonna be changing the shout outs, ladies and gentlemen. So it's no longer going to be just, if you comment down below, what it's gonna be is, you need to switch, there's a bell that you can press next to the yes. subscriber button, and you need to press that to switch notifications on, and then comment down below saying, I've put my notifications on, or notifications on, blah, blah, blah. And if you comment that, those are the people we'll be picking for shout outs, and we might even be doing some of those people on Instagram as well. So that's how you do it, just switch the notifications on, and then you'll also be able to know as soon as we post a video. So yeah, on that jolly note, let's end. Bye bye, Cleo. It's been a fantastic, fantastic time with this car. And we'll see you for another video very soon because we have to go hop onto a plane to England. Should we do that? Let's do it. Ciao. Hey,
quick cap saving, Saturday in the mall. No Juliet for no Romeo and no.